Hey everybody, Julie here from Mountain View Wellness. Thank you so much for watching. I'll try to keep this video really short and sweet. Thanks for tuning in to week two of the Friday Favorites newsletter. Um, I've decided to, to do a video this week just to change some things up and uh, just didn't feel like writing so much. So we'll just change the format up a little bit. Getting right to it. I have some really great gift ideas for grandparents out there. Get them a digital photo frame. My husband and I got that for my in-laws and my mom who neither of them are very tech savvy. So we are loading them up with photos that we chose of ourselves and of our children, loading it up and sending it to them. All they have to do is plug and play and they will be thrilled with that. Um, I've also invited my sister to send me any photos she wants included on my mom's frame. So then she gets photos of all of her grandkids. So, and any grandparents out there, feel free to um, request that gift from your kids because I'm sure they will love the gift idea. Number two, a gift you can get yourself and something I've gotten myself is a fitness tracker. I'm not wearing it right now, but I have been for the past month and a half um, I didn't want to spend a lot on a Apple Watch, especially if I wasn't going to use it. But this fitness tracker, I was very curious about um, actually how active I had have been since uh, since lockdown. And I was actually shocked that some days I barely moved. Um, and I was curious about that. And I just wanted to begin tracking that, but I didn't always want to have my phone with me. So number one, the fitness tracker has helped me realize these days that I'm not moving as much and to make my you know make make it a point to hit my goal of 10,000 steps um, which is wonderful and also it has taken me away from my phone so it's okay for me to leave the house without my phone because my watch will track my awareness and if I want to know the time I just look at my watch so it's very old school so that was a gift that I got myself and I'm very very happy with it um, I don't necessarily like to be attached to those kind of things, but I think it's actually a positive thing in my life right now. Um, and finally, the last thing I'd like to mention is there's a lot of people, there are a lot of people talking about food waste, and we have decided to go with Imperfect Foods, a food delivery service that um, sends you imperfect food. So the seconds, maybe a sweet potato that doesn't look perfect, Although really, what, what sweet potatoes do look perfect. But um, by using this service, Imperfect Foods, Misfits Market, whatever, um, you order food and products that would normally be waste. Uh, maybe something that doesn't look perfect or the packaging is imperfect. Um, so generally, this the produce is cheaper because it's not perfect and you're also mitigating waste. So I love the idea of cheaper organic foods. I love the idea of mitigating food waste. And I love the idea of less waste because the package that we got, everything, it was just paper. Uh, there were no bags, there were no plastic bags or anything. And the best part of this service was that I got an email that said, here's what you can choose from. And I could essentially build my own box. We added some protein. Um, which we tried mahi-mahi today, which we'd never done before. Um, so you can really personalize it so you're not getting all of one thing that nobody eats in your house. So I recommend um, Imperfect Foods. And uh, finally, I wanna let you know that our first uh, Wisdom Wednesday interview went really well. I interviewed Libby Wamser about uh, the Going Gray Gracefully movement, Going Gray Gracefully movement and pro-aging. And it was technically challenging, but I did a lot of growth. So if you want to see Libby's interview, I'm splitting it into two parts, part one and part two. And you can click on the link below. I think the link below has it all in one, but um, I'll send it to you later in parts one and part two. It looks like that will be growing into somewhat of a podcast, a weekly podcast, which I'm looking forward to. Next week, I'm talking to Eileen Denny about sitting and the dangers of sitting. Her tagline is, sitting is the new smoking. Uh, so I'm very curious to learn what she has to say as a chiropractor about the physical dangers of sitting and how we can, or what we can do about it, right? Uh, so if you'd like to listen to Eileen and I speak, you can tune in on Facebook Live. 
Um, otherwise, if you have any questions for her, you can reach out to me at um, on this email or at the Mountain View website or on the Facebook page. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this fast five minute favorites and have a lovely weekend as always. I love interacting with you. Tell me what's going on with you and that's about it. Have a great weekend. Uh, hoping you find the newsletter helpful for you physically, mentally, and emotionally. See you later.